So this is what this is what we have. So come here, come to me, come and see me. So show you the show you. So you can see how it is printing. So you see now it is clear then. So boy, hello and and welcome to the night gym. On today's um video, what we are going to try to see is um, how to realize what we have designed. So for a while now, you guys are learning how to design stuff in SolidWorks, AutoCAD, Fusion 360. But today's video, we are going to see how to realize starting from today. So I have with me here um, the gear. So I have the drawing. I want to show you how you guys are able to draw, design it, transfer the file or convert the file to STL file, and also how to realize it in the 3d printer so stay tuned watch the video to the end and please like and subscribe to the channel thank you we cannot talk about 3d printing without having a 3d model so what we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to see our model so this is what we have here so what i'm going to show you is how um, the gear works so this is the gear here's my pulley and belt system so if i rotate this if I rotate this, what I'm going to get is that I'm going to get the the gear that's rotating, and it's going to make be give motion to this other gear, which is going to also rotate. So what I want to do is uh, this gear has been designed with uh, its special dimension. So I know the question that you guys may be asking yourself here yeah, is good to design on SolidWorks, but how to realize this design is the problem. Don't bother on this tutorial i'm going to show you how to leave your design or to create a real life part from your design using the 3d printer that is to leave from solidworks itself to the 3d printer the question here is how is it possible so this is what we are going to be doing on today's tutorial first what we need to do from my assembly i'm just going to choose the gear so once this i'm going to open the gear so i just want to open the gear part alone so that i will show you the dimension so if you've been following our channel and you're subscribed to design genius you should be able to design a gear that looks like this because we have carried out several tutorials that needs to deal with the um, belt and gear system so you should be able to design this and please if you are not able to design it please try to look at our old tutorials or just comment put a comment below where you don't you don't understand or where you're not able to design and we are going to give you a response so here what i need to do is i'm going to go here and i'm going to go to sketch so observe very well here we have 35 this diameter and the primitive diameter where the teeth are going to meet is also is 42 millimeters so just note this value 42 millimeters so here we need to know the the depth so let's say like the height or the thickness so the thickness here is uh, let's observe it is eight millimeters so just note eight millimeters there's it eight millimeters is okay i'm not going to change it from eight millimeters uh here we have this a tit here to be 1.50 and uh, three so 1.50 here and three and we have this curve just draw this like this and you're going to carry out circular partition over here and you're going to have it all over so i think um with this explanation everybody can design this and here if you want to check out these dimensions let's try to check it out dimension here is 2.5 times 2.5 and this distance 2.5 times 5 so it's a rectangle and uh, this is what we're going to have and this is where we're going to insert the key so with this done i'm all i need to do is just go to save save us save us i'm going to take save us and i'm going to take uh, um stl so i'm going to look for stl so stl don't forget when we are working with the 3d printer living solidworks we need to use stl and when we are going to work with uh let's say numerical uh milli machine we need to use dxf so please just note it down and don't forget to leave from solidworks autocad to modify the 2d drawing you need to leave with dw G. so you should not you should know all those extensions so this is what we have here i'm going to take gear and i'm going to replace the gear that's there okay so our stl file has been generated so all i need to do is to close solidworks and go to the directory where my stl file 
so this is where my STL file is found so you're just going to open it by default you open it with uh, Windows 3G Builder so you're going to see that our unit here is in millimeters and uh, I can zoom in zoom out so you just click on it left click and right click to move it and uh, left click to rotate it about okay this is it so you can see here it's 50 millimeters 50 millimeters so it's in the square like this and uh, we know that here the thickness is 8 millimeters and uh, the external diameter here at the center of the teeth it should be 42 and uh, here we know the dimension so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the model when i go into the model here i'm going to go to everything here i'm going to click here and i'm going to look at imprime and 3d so print to 3g so when i'm going to click here this is what i'm going to so this is what i'm going to get here so now here what i'm going to show you is how to modify your design that is if you don't have a specific 3d printer at home or something else so you could um send a command online so that this is going to be printed for you so what you need to do is just go to here to next as what if in, in french suivant you're going to choose your material but all of this we're going to look at it later so this one you, you don't need any software the software is already found in your windows system so look at it here you're going to have a square here that permits us to modify the dimension of this here so here you see here it's 100% so nothing has been changed when it's 100% here you can see um, uh, 44.79 uh, the length and now you see the height is 8 millimeters. so if you want to reduce the height we could reduce the height here we could reduce the ratio here I could take instead of 100 I could take 50% and you're going to discover that it's going to change here and everything here is going to be divided by 2 so if you see here I could also use this to increase I could also use this to decrease so if I want to in initialize I just need to come and click here so this you use it when you want to place a command online so that your design will be printed if you don't have a printing service around you or a 3d printer in the house so what we are going to use here is Ultimaker 2 plus extended that's what we are going to use so now we are going to carry our STL file that's the gear file into the Ultimaker 2 plus extension and we're going to see how we're going to walk into the interface and we're going to generate the G code that is the code that the um, 3d printer understands and uh, after generating this code we're going to see how we're going to print our gear so stay tuned continue watching to the end so I'm going to open the software cure so this is the interface of the software cure so this is it Ultimaker 2 plus so I'm going to take the machine to be Ultimaker 2 extended plus and I'm going to go to load so what you need to do next is just open your file so I'm going to open the gear file and uh, this is my gear I'm going to have my gear here so all you need to do is just click on the gear a click on the gear you have here this permits you to rotate on the Ultimaker 2 plus interface or you can click on scale so if the scale is 111 here so you remember these values 44.945 44.7 and 8 which is the thickness so everything is okay here so all you need to do if you like you can modify the, the scales here so all you need to do here is just go to save so if everything is okay here go to save here yeah, you generate the G code so I'm going to take this to generate the G code here yeah, go save yes so the G code has been generated so once generated you're just going to open the source file where the G code is found so that's what I'm doing right now so here is where the G code is found so at this level all I need to do is copy this to a USB key uh, once to a USB key I just need to introduce it into the 3D printer and uh, print so once more again so that is how we live from SOLIDWORKS to a 3D printer and how to print so don't forget subscribe it's your boy Eduardo Abo.
this is what this is what we have. So come here, let's come to me, come and see me. So show you the so you can so you can see how it is printing. So you see it's clear then. So see how it's printing or ultimate make up two extended plus. So you see it. Printing already. So keep watching the nine units. Stop. You can stop. Stop.